Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some new makeup to play with. I have some chopping block items to put in there. So I hope you're ready for a mixed bag of high-end and drugstore. Get ready with me. I have the new Laura Mercier powder. This is their Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Setting Powder. So it's talc free. It's infused with hyaluronic acid for comfortable up to 16 hour wear and ultra blurring powder. Yes, please. I also have a new lip product from Laura Mercier. It is a sheer matte lip color that makes your lips petal soft, delivering 12 hours of weightless wear and 24 hours of lip softening hydration. So I grabbed a few of my Laura Mercier products that I enjoy and I have some other fun things mixed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. So what's already on my face today is my Ulta Matte Lid Primer, Eyeshadow Primer, and I used my Sephora Retractable Eyebrow Pencil. I forgot to put gel in. It's been a morning. It has been a morning, but I wanted to get my makeup on and chat with you a little bit. Oh, another new product that I have is I got these new puffs from Amazon. They look really cute. It looks like the brand is Norate. I am going to start with primer. This claims to instantly mattify, control shine up to 16 hours, create a flawless canvas for makeup application and extended wear. The best primer for combination or oily skin types. Lightweight like a lotion. I'm gonna put this on first. No scent. And I'm gonna give that a minute to set in and do a quick eye look using my Morphe Truth or Bear palette, which is in my Chopping Block series. I love this palette. It just got buried in the back of the drawer. I compare this often to my Dominique Cosmetics Transitions palette, but this one was way less expensive. We got some beautiful cool tones, warm tones, nice shimmers very nice. This was my first jump back into Morphe in years and I was impressed. I'm wearing a little more cool toned colors today so I think what I'm going to do is use this shade right here. This is a Units 307 brush. This is a brand from Beautylish. A really pretty taupey brown color. I like it a lot. I'm gonna take that same shade and a little flat brush. This is from Luna Magic. I think this was a BoxyCharm brush that I got and use that same shade underneath. And what I'll do is take a little bit of shimmer. I like this just keeping it along the same tones. This is a sort of a taupey shimmer and just putting this right across the lid just for a little sparkle. Very pretty. I want the focus today to be a little bit more on the complexion. Very nice. I'll go ahead and finish up the eyes. I'm going to throw a little bit of my Wayne Goss pencil. I was talking to my bestie on the phone today and we were talking about one of my favorite palettes of his. It is the, I believe it's the Topaz palette. I have two of his palettes. Of course I want them all. But it reminded me how much I love Wayne Goss's shadows. And that inspired me to grab his pencil because it's a nice black coal pencil. Just going a little bit up on the edge here and then I am going to go on my waterline and just a little bit of a wing. I have been testing this because I've seen reviews where this this is the new Essence Liquid Liner Lash Princess. I've heard that it dries out and I don't know about you if you've picked it up but I've had no 
issues with this liner and I have been using it almost daily. It is just so user friendly if you just want a little baby on the outside wing. It's just too easy. I just keep picking it up. I used my NYX Epic Wear yesterday and had a hard time controlling it. I just, I love the design of this pencil. Stay tuned for my favorites and fails. Can you tell what favorites going to be in there? <laughs> and for, I'll go ahead and throw top mascara on. This is my It Cosmetics Superhero. This remains to be, oh, I did not curl my lashes. This continues to be one of my very favorite mascaras. I just love it. And my favorite thing about it is it goes on sale a lot, so you don't have to pay full price for it. So I'm gonna throw on a couple coats of this, and I'll be right back. I'm back, mascara is on. I do wanna throw a little bit of my BH Power Pencil. This one is in the shade White. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my inner corners just to add a little bit of brightness. And I'll do bottom mascara after I do my base. Now I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free. This is in the shade Nude. I'm going to use my fingers. I do have a little bit of lip plumper on, the Jason Wu. But the skin looks very nice, looks very skin-like, looks more evened out. I, I like the combination. Let me see if I can build it up a little bit because the concealer that I brought in is a little bit light. So I'm just going to tap that into my problem areas around my nose. And let's just let that sit there for a moment and then I will pat it in with my foundation brush. I'm going to go in with this Juvia's Place contour stick that I recently picked up. I want to continue testing this so that I know how I feel about it. And of course right there is one of my problem areas. You gotta wonder, I try to stay on top of cleaning my brushes you gotta wonder when you get a, a pimple right there if it has anything to do with needing to clean a brush. It could also be a product. It's so hard to figure out what breaks you out sometimes. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. <laughs> Here is my BH brush. I'm just gonna tap this in. I wish the shade were a little bit cooler. It almost, it's funny, it seems warm Excuse me, it seems cool under the lights here, but on other days that I've used it, it seems a little warm. I'm trying to figure out what this tone is. That's the only problem is picking the right shade, but as far as the, the texture and the formula, I really have been enjoying it. Make sure you always go straight or up. You don't wanna blend further down. You wanna keep it just under or at that cheekbone. sure it's blended. Beautiful. And then I'll take my foundation brush and go over those problem areas. Looks very nice. I'm really liking that bronzer. For highlight, I grabbed one of my favorites. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I was lucky enough to grab this on BoxyCharm, but it is beautiful. It is so natural looking. But at the same time, it can be built up and it is just not metallic, not glittery, just this gorgeous glow from within. It's a baked formula, so it seems like I've used it and had it for the longest time and just it goes so far, which is true for most highlighters, but I think baked goes even further. And they seem to me to have a little bit of a smoother finish. Look at that glow. For blush, I grabbed a drugstore fave. This is the LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. I haven't played with this in a while in the shade Grace, and it is just 
pretty. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. I would call it a mauvey pink. And here is my e.l.f. This is the putty primer brush. Woo! It's a little more pigmented than I thought. Let me take my finger. Sometimes I think that gives a smoother blend. And then I'll wipe off the brush and go over it again. But I've had a good experience with this blush. It's a nice color, more of a natural pink, but with a little bit of a pop. Go under here. I have not done concealer. I like it. Wipe off that brush. I don't even need to go over it. Wow, I do have my Becca under eye brightener on right now, but it is amazing when you continue with the makeup how you realize that sometimes you don't even need stuff. My eyes do not look bad at all, but of course I'm going to go in with this. This was a baby of the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer that I wanted to show a little love to. I think I've used this twice since I got it, and both times I have really liked it. I want to put this into the new rotation. I'm going to take my little e.l.f. fluffy brush and I'm just going to very precisely blend this in. Looks Good. We are almost ready for that brand new powder. Who's excited? I know I am. Let's make sure that the blend is good there. Yay! Let's open this powder. I am ready. I want to take a look at it. It's got beautiful packaging. Mine, it does come in different shades. The one I got is in the shade Translucent. It's got a little peel off here. And you just tap a little bit into the cap looks a little on the yellow side. Can you guys see that? And I'm going to use one of these new puffs that I just got. I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom. Obviously I'm not going to bake and I'm going to set under my eye. I'm just going right back into what's on my hand because I have found the less powder under the eyes the better. Wow. It does look very nice, very smoothing. Let me go ahead and go down the side of my face. Can you see the difference between this side and this side? The puff feels very nice. So here is the side set. Here's the side unset. Definitely pores look more reduced. Face looks smoother. So far, I'm really liking it. Wow, I'm not sure how it's gonna work with my oils, but it looks really nice. I'll make sure that I leave a comment for you in the description box about that. I do wanna set this bronzer with another chopping block item, my e.l.f. primer infused bronzer. That pan size is getting bigger and bigger. And I just want to reinforce that bronzer. This will make it last a bit longer. All right, we are ready for some bottom mascara. For lips, I grabbed my Morphe Makeup Talk. I just sort of blended that in. And now I'm going to go in with this lip color. First I'll swatch it. it. Feels very silky on the hand and the shade that I picked up is Ella. That's the best way I can describe it is silky. It feels very silky and lightweight on the lips. Sheer coverage, I can tell that it's probably going to dry down to a matte, which is what I like. And if you want to add a little shine, you can. It feels very moisturizing. I like it. And that is the completed look. My final thoughts on these products. 
this is beautiful. Laura Mercier is known for her powders. I absolutely love this. I'm glad that I pulled these products out because they just got swallowed in the back of the drawer and my skin looks really good. It doesn't look heavy, it looks smooth, it looks matte, which is what I prefer. I feel like I may have lost a little bit of my highlight when I forgot to put my concealer on. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that glow back onto the top of the cheeks, just with what was left over on the brush, which I can see coming right back, which I love. So I've still got that glow without looking oily. The lip product is very pretty. It reminds me of the Honest Beauty Sheer Matte Lip Color. I'll have to post a picture. Maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side because it could be a, a more affordable dupe. We'll see if it wears the same. I'm glad I picked out some of my chopping block items. Highly recommending this Essence Lash Princess Liquid Liner. It's just going great. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you were curious about the powder, if you were curious how it wore, how it felt, I didn't notice anything about the infused with hyaluronic acid part. I mean, it just feels like a very silky, smooth powder to me. I like my new puffs. All of the things are good. I'm happy with this. I am ready to go on about my day. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing before you leave. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And leave me a comment. Let me know. Are you interested in this new Laura Mercier powder? Are you more? Uh, are you looking for talc-free products in your makeup routine? I know a lot of people have a sensitivity to talc, so I am happy that she came out with it. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. I hope you will join me, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.